Good day, students. Once again, this is another question on ratio and proportion. Ratio and proportion. It says, as exercise 2K, uh, I think it's 3K, but I'll verify it later on. It says a boy spends three over eight of his pocket money and then two over five of the remainder. Now we need to know that if this boy spent three over eight, uh, this is how much he spent first, then the remainder, let us look at the remainder, the remainder will be equal to two over, it will be not two, five over eight. So that when we keep our base and we add the indices, it will be eight over eight equals one. So now that means the remainder uh, that uh, this uh, boy has is 5 over 8. So this is the remainder 5 over 8. So now it further says, and then 2 over 5th of the remainder. So now out of this remainder, uh, he spent 2 over 5 of this remainder. We need to know now how much did he spend first. This was his first expenditure. This is his second expenditure. So now we are looking at the second expenditure. How much did this uh, boy spend out of his pocket money? We know that his remainder 5 over 8 and he spent 2 over 5 out of that. So now 5 goes to 5 once, 2 goes to 8 uh, 4 times, 2 goes to 2 once. That means we have 1 over 4. So now that means this boy spent 3 over 8 first time, second time he spent 1 over 4. Then we need to know how much did he total spend. Now why do we want to need to know that? Because they are saying if he has 24 and left, that means after he spent first and second, meaning 3 over 8 and spent 1 over 4, which was two-fifths of the remainder, which became one over four. Then what was left now was 24 ends. We need to know how much did he spend in total. Let us look for the common lowest denominator, which is eight, because you first have to look at the lower number if does it fit in the bigger number and leaves no remainder. If the answer is yes, you take the bigger number as the lowest common denominator. 8 goes to 8 once, 1 times 3 is 3, plus, which is that uh, plus sign. 4 goes to 8, 2 times, 2 times 1, it is 2. So now that means we'll have 5 over 8. This is total amount you spent, total expense, if I may say so. Total amount you spent, which was 3 over 8 plus 1 over 4. Remember, 1 over 4 was 2 fifths of the remainder, and the remainder was 5 over 8. So that means the actual here amount is, the actual fraction you spent second time was 1 over 4. So now this is the total expenditure that he has spent. So now, obviously, if this little boy totally spent 5 over 8, that means how much will be the remainder? The remainder will obviously be 3 over 8. Why will the remainder be 3 over 8? It's because we know that a uh, total amount that he spent uh, plus the remainder must give us 1. So now for us to get a 1, it has to be the amount to spend 5 over 8 uh, plus 3 over 8. We keep the base the same so that when we keep our base, we add the indices, it will be 8 over 8, which becomes 1 at the end of the day. So now we know that it will be uh, 3 over 8, the remainder. Let me just test it through the calculation. In other words, we say, uh, let uh, total amount, um, that means the total amount he had, let total amount equals x. You can let it to be any alphabet. So that will be my let. That means, in other words, now I will be saying, uh, the total amount that he had, minus uh, the one that he had spent, which is, um, uh, let me verify if it's 5 or 3, the amount to spend 5 over 8. This is the total that he spent. If I say the total amount that I don't know, minus the amount he spent, 
uh, which is a fraction of the total, which is x, it will give us 24 rand. Why am I saying 24 rand? Because they said if he has 24 rand left, that means if you say the total amount he has minus the amount that he spent, it will give us the balance left after the two total expenditure of 5 over 8. So now we can say now remember this is divided by 1, any number has a division of 1. Then we need to look for the common denominator. Uh, remember once again I'm just verifying the amount that we already have as 3 over 8. That means the remainder is 3 over 8 x and this remainder of 3 over 8 will give us the cash of 24 rand. That means the remainder of the fraction of 3 over 8 is a total amount of 24 rand because they say if he has 24 rand left meaning the balance after spending 5 over 8 then now we need to do these calculations. Then 8 will be the common factor because 1 does go to 8 and leaves no remainder. Uh, 1 goes to 8, 8 times, 8 times x will be 8x. Minus 8 goes to 8 once, 1 times 5 will give us 5, which is 5x equals 24 end. Then after we say 8 minus 5 will give us 3, so we can say that 3 over 8 will be our 3x equals 24 end. Then we cross multiply, when we cross multiply this is divided by 1, we will have 24 times 8 and our 3x there on top will be over the equal sign, we'll have 3x and we say 24 times by 8, 24 by 8 which gave us 192. So let me just uh, put my things in the order of 3x on this side is equal to 192 which was 24 times by 8, 192. So we are looking for x, x being uh, the total cash that this uh, little boy has. Divide by 3, 3 cancels 3, and then the total cash this little boy had uh, will be um, 192 divided by 3. That means this little boy had 64 rand in his pocket. This is the total amount. Remember, they told us that after he spent a fraction of 3 over 8 and a fraction of 1 over 4, which the total of that fraction uh, became 5 over 8, meaning after he spent these two fractions, which is total 5 over 8, the remainder uh, of the amount was 24 end. So now this is the amount that was left, 24 end. So the requirement was then how much did the boy have originally? So the boy had a total amount of 64 and in this case they ask us the original amount not the remainder because they have given us the remainder already. In the previous uh, ratio and proportion video it was the other way around. They needed to know how much uh, did the farmer, uh, how much was the number of sheep that were left for that farmer. So now this will be the answer guys, uh, thank you very much. And take note of the fact that all this long calculation to get to here when not necessary because we knew that what the boy spent was three over eight. So we could have said now the remainder will be three over eight to make it one. So that the, the remainder plus what is spent will give us one. So you could have just started from here and say 3 over 8x uh, is equal to 24 end. So that will still be a very short cut. Thank you guys very much. Uh, you've been wonderful listeners. God be with you.